Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Platter. Today we'll discuss MITRE ATT&CK. MITRE ATT&CK is a framework developed by the MITRE Corporation and it provides a structured and comprehensive understanding of adversary behaviors observed in uh, cyber attacks. Adversaries are also known as threat actors or attackers. They refer to an individual group or organization that seeks to compromise the confidentiality, integrity or availability of computer systems, networks or data for malicious purposes. So MITRE ATT&CK provides a structured and comprehensive understanding of threat actors or adversaries behavior. So it provides a standardized taxonomy that categorizes and describes TTPs used by cyber adversaries during different stages of an attack. TTPs stands for tactics, techniques and procedures. So attack in MITRE attack stands for adversarial tactics, techniques and common knowledge. Adversarial is threat actors or attackers, tactics, techniques and common knowledge. Tactics represent the high level objectives that adversaries aim to achieve during a cyber attack. These objectives cover various stages of attack life cycle from initial reconnaissance to data exfiltration. Examples of tactics include initial access, execution, persistence, privilege escalation, defense evasion, and impact. We will talk about in depth about these tactics later. Next is techniques. Techniques are specific methods or actions that adver adversaries use to accomplish their objectives within each tactic. Each technique represents a more granular step or procedure that is seen in real world cyber attacks. So if you search for just MITRE attack, or if you go to attack.mitre.org, it will give you the actual tactics and techniques. So it provides a detailed catalog of techniques under each tactic. So I hope you can see it now. I've zoomed it. So resource development is a tactic under that we have its own techniques. And if you click on these, you can actually see what is resource development. What are the techniques? What are the sub techniques? And if you want more information, you can go to that and it tells you what is acquire accesses. So it's a very detailed documentation. And common knowledge refers to the collective understanding and awareness of the tactics, techniques and procedures that is TTP is commonly used by cyber adversaries. It includes the shared knowledge and insights gained from analyzing real world cyber attacks, threat intelligence reports, incident response activities and security research. Under techniques, there are sub techniques. So some techniques have sub techniques which further break down the specific variations or nuances of a technique. They provide additional detail and specificity for understanding adversary behavior in different contexts or scenarios. So if you go back to attack.mitre.org, here you can say show sub techniques. Then if you see this under reconnaissance, Active scanning is the technique. Under active scanning, you have scanning IP blocks, vulnerability scanning, wordless scanning. These are the sub techniques under active scanning technique. So if you go to scanning IP block, it gives you the details, procedure examples, how to mitigate this, how to detect it, all the details. And then you have matrices. So MITRE ATT&CK provides matrices that map tactics, techniques and sub techniques to different platforms and environments such as Windows, Mac OS, Linux and cloud services. This allows organizations to tailor their defensive strategies based on the specific technologies they use and the threats they face. Now let's see why do we need this MITRE ATT&CK framework that is use cases of MITRE ATT&CK. It can be used for various purposes 
like for example threat intelligence analysis red teaming purple teaming and incident response it serves as a valuable source for organizations to understand the potential attack vectors and evaluate their defensive posture and improve their resilience against cyber attacks so mitre attack is widely used by cyber security professionals threat intelligence analysts uh, incident responders and security researchers to better understand adversary behavior and then assess organizational risk and enhance cyber security defenses it provides a common language and taxonomy for describing and categorizing cyber threats facilitating collaboration information sharing and collective defense efforts within the cyber security community now let's talk about the tactics of mitre attack that is reconnaissance resource development initial access many more there are 14 tactics let's see what are those first one is reconnaissance this tactic involves gathering information about the target environment to pr- identify potential uh, vulnerabilities and opportunities for exploitation adversaries may conduct reconnaissance activities like scanning or use publicly available data like looking at social media linkedin uh, wikipedia or you know uh organizations post job opportunities there you can find details so these activities help them understand the organization's infrastructure employees network topology and security posture next tactic is resource development this includes acquiring necessary tools infrastructure and information required to conduct the uh, attack effectively this includes developing and obtain obtaining malware creating command and control c2 infrastructure and acquiring credentials or access to additional resources next tactic is initial access this refers to the techniques adversaries use to gain first foothold into the target environment this could involve exploiting vulnerabilities leveraging stolen credentials or conducting phishing attacks to establish an initial point of entry next tactic is execution this involves running malicious code or commands on a victim system to achieve the attacker's objectives this could include executing malware launching scripts or running commands to manipulate system settings next tactic is persistence persistent techniques enable adversaries to maintain access to a compromised system over an extended period this involves establishing backdoors creating scheduled tasks or modifying system configuration to ensure continued access even after a system reboot next tactic is privilege escalation privilege escalation techniques allow adversaries to obtain higher level of access within the target environment this could involve exploiting vulnerabilities abusing misconfigurations or stealing credentials to elevate privileges and access sensitive information next tactic is defensivation these techniques help adversaries to avoid detection by security controls such as antivirus software intrusion detection systems and sim systems sim stands for security information and event management systems this could involve obfuscating malware disabling security features or using encryption to conceal malicious activity next tactic is credential access this involves stealing or obtaining credentials that enable adversaries to authenticate within the target environment this could include capturing passwords through techniques like key logging brute force attacks or phishing and as well as exploiting vulnerabilities to extract credentials stored on compromised systems next tactic is discovery this involves gathering information about the target environment to better understand its configuration assets and potential attack paths 
This could include enumerating network shares, listing installed software, or querying system information to identify valuable targets for further exploitation. Next tactic is lateral movement. These techniques enable adversaries to move laterally within the target environment, gaining access to additional systems or resources. This could involve exploiting trust relationships, abusing shared credentials, and leveraging remote desktop protocols to pivot from one system to another. Next tactic is collection. These techniques involve gathering and exfiltrating sensitive data or information from compromised systems. This could include stealing files, capturing screenshots, or extracting credentials stored in memory. Next tactic is command and control, that is C2 techniques. These techniques involve establishing and maintaining communication channels between the adversary's infrastructure and compromised systems. This allows adversaries to remotely control compromised systems, deliver commands, and exfiltrate data. Next technique is exfiltration. These techniques involve transferring stolen data or information from compromised systems to external servers or locations controlled by the adversary. This could involve using encrypted channels, hiding data within legitimate network traffic, or compressing files to evade detection. Next tactic is impact. These techniques involve causing damage, disruption, or loss within the target environment. This could include deleting files, encrypting data for ransom, or disrupting critical services to achieve the adversary's objectives. So we discussed all of these uh, tactics. There are many techniques and sub techniques under these. We will not be able to discuss all of these, but we'll look at some of the examples. Consider an example where a threat actor wants to gain unauthorized access to a company's network to steal sensitive data. They decide to use a phishing email to trick an employee into revealing their login credentials. Now let's look at the MITRE attack analysis. First, Tactic is initial access and technique is phishing. So tactic is initial access and the technique that is chosen is phishing. So in this stage, the adversary is attempting to gain an initial foothold into the target environment. Phishing is a technique used uh, to trick individuals into providing sensitive information or executing malicious code by disguising it as a legitimate communication. Next, tactic is execution and technique is user execution so tactic execution under that we should have user ex uh, here is user execution so after the victim receives and opens the phishing email the attackers payload for example malware or a malicious link is executed through user interaction this allows the attacker to establish a connection to the victim system or execute further malicious actions next is Tactic credential access. Technique is input capture. So credential access is the tactic. Under this, we should have input capture as the technique. Once the victim interacts with the phishing email and enters their login credentials, the attacker captures these credentials using techniques like key logging or form grabbing. This provides the attacker with the necessary credentials to authenticate themselves within the target target environment. Next, tactic is collection and technique is data from local system. So tactic is collection and the technique is data from local system. Here it is. So with access to the victim's credentials, the attacker can collect sensitive data from the local system such as documents, emails or stored credentials. This allows them to gather information that may be valuable for further exploitation or exfiltration. So if you want to know more about this, you can look at the examples. 
the many examples quoted here there's also mitigation uh, techniques and detection how you can detect this next is exfiltration exfiltration is the tactic and technique is data exfiltration over alternative protocol so exfiltration is the tactic and exfiltration over alternative protocol is the technique finally the attacker exfiltrates the stolen data from the victim system using alternative protocols or channels that bypass traditional security controls this could involve sending the data over encrypted channels or using covert communication methods to avoid detection and for this mitre attack uh, analysis mitigation would be first implementing email filtering and security awareness training to detect and prevent phishing attacks next enforcing multi-factor authentication that is mfa to mitigate the risk of credential theft next deploying endpoint detection and response solutions that is edr solutions to detect and respond to malicious activities on endpoints another mitigation implementing network segmentation and monitoring to detect and block data exfiltration attempts. So by understanding the tactics and techniques used by adversaries, organizations can better prepare and defend against cyber attacks. So that's it for today, guys. I hope this video helped you understand what is MITRE attack and how to look at um, an attack, how is the analysis done, techniques, tactics, common language, how is it useful to cybersecurity professionals. If it did help you, please Please don't forget to like subscribe and share our videos that helps us a lot thank you so much for watching i will see you in another video with another cyber security topic until then take care of yourselves bye bye